this is not proof of concept. It's a fictional community group that I run. We meet regularly and talk about, well, you know, life, the universe and everything. Now, a while ago, one of my group members said they wanted a chat system where members could talk to each other without using email or sharing phone numbers and stuff like that. And I said, OK. Someone said about using Slack. And someone else said, but I love Telegram. And the guy with the most amazing beard said, but I use IRC and there's no way you'll stop me from using that. And I said, well, I've heard about this thing called Matrix. And I think it'd be awesome to use that instead. And the great thing is that none of you have to sacrifice what you're currently using. But what do you think? So this is what we're going to be using. And here we have Matrix. I've accessed it via the riot.im client on my Linux machine. Um, you could just as easily use a Android phone or an iOS phone or even a Windows computer if you have to. I've gone into our Matrix room, which is a little bit like an IRC, uh, an IRC channel or, or a channel on Slack or even a group on Telegram. Now, before I can share this room with anyone, I need to go in and change some settings from the defaults. You see, because Matrix is designed to be secure by default. It doesn't just let anyone join. You need to tell it it's allowed to share. Matrix does have a one-way toggle to turn on encryption, but if you're enabling bridges, the encrypted tra traffic won't go down the bridge. So there's not much point with the bridged room. But if everyone's on Matrix, it works then. So if it was only Matrix users, you could use the encryption stuff, which is the current best practice encryption with you know the double ratchet system that Signal created. Um, but it's also been enhanced by the guys who created Matrix. They call it Megaroam, to have multi-device, multi-participant chats. But we're not doing that. So first of all, let's change these defaults. So we're going to here, and we say that anyone who knows the rooms link, including guests, they can come in. Um, now that's because the bots, the guests that come in over the bridge, are classed as guests to Matrix. They're not classed as users. Um, and it says here we need to have an address. So let's scroll down and we'll give it an address. So we're going to call this not a proof of concept at matrix.org. So we add that alias and we say that's the main address for this room. And we hit save. So this is our not a proof of concept room. And what we now need to do is start bringing up our bridges. So a bridge basically joins two chat systems together. So first of all, I'm going to set up a bridge to our IRC channel, which is on Freenode. So I click on the Manage Integrations button. And there's a load of widgets, which are basically web applications we can include at the top. And I'm going to go to IRC. Um, there are a few IRC networks which are bridged to network uh, to Matrix. Um, Freenode are the most tolerant of uh, bridges to other networks as well. So, fortunately, our guy with the amazing beard is on Freenode. So let's select Freenode, and we're going to select not a proof of concept on Freenode. And that then goes away, and here's our channel. And you see the matrix bridge joins the channel just for long enough to see who the, the op ops are. And I'm going to type in my nick, JTNG. And then I'm going to request integration. Now, what happens is the matrix br bridge joins, it joins, checks, and then sends me a message. And it says, do you want to allow this bridge? And I say, yes. Bridge authorized. So we now have this bridge here. Excellent. So we can close this integration window. And now, when I type in here, I say, hello. And in matrix, I get hello. And you'll notice there's this brackets IRC and brackets M. So when I say hello to you, the matrix bridge, which has sent, added this matrix user, says it here. So you can see straight away that this is my matrix user because it's got the M after it. And this is my IRC user because it's got the IRC after it. 
Excellent. Um, so that's our matrix bridge to IRC done. Now let's bring in the guys from Slack. Slack's a little bit different. Um, Slack, Slack rather uses um, an app for integration. So I'm going to go back to that grid. We've got an existing integration, but I want to add an integration, which is the Slack bridge. So in our channel on the Slack team, I go to add an app. And you'll find that add an app thing in different places in different ways of getting to Slack. Uh, so I am going to add a webhook. And I need the incoming webhook first of all. I think that's what it says. Yeah, incoming webhook. Oops. Clicked on the wrong button. So I need the incoming webhook. And I'm going to add a configuration. And I want it to pick up the general channels. So I'm going to add an incoming webhooks integration. And this gives me a URL. But let's close these down. Because I don't need to see all the information there. So here's my webhook URL. Copy URL. And I can then paste that into there. And click Save Integration. Now, whilst that's filling that out, I'm going to say that this is our matrix bridge. And you can add an icon to your integration there, so it'll say matrix bridge. Or you could put other icons in, but that, that works fine for me. Hit Save Settings. Ah, I didn't hit Save Settings, that's why. So let's hit Save Integration again. So that's now indicated that it's got the uh, incoming webhook. I now need to create an outgoing webhook. So we go back up here and we type outgoing webhook. Click add configuration. Add outgoing webhooks integration. So we want it to send outgoing integrate um, data to this URL. So that was the one that Riot told me to use. Um, and again, I'm going to say that this is the matrix bridge. And again, we've got we can upload an image, and we hit save settings. Go back to Riot. So we've got that outgoing thing. We now need to add to Slack. So this part, so the first, the webhooks allow the data in and out of Slack, that's fine. If you don't then also add this um, application, um, it can't actually translate the names of the users in the Slack channel to the names that you want them to be presented as in Matrix. So we need to authorize that. That sends the data back to Matrix and we are done. So now if I close these two screens, we've got our Matrix bridge here. So I can say hello from Slack. Oops. And we've got hello from Slack here. Now, interestingly, the Slack user picks up the name from Slack, not suffixing it with um, the fact that they're on Slack. When you hover over it, it shows you that it's uh, it's using Slack. In fact, let me click on the details of that. So it says it's using Slack, and it says this Slack integration that it's with, and then my username in Slack. So that's that. Let's close that. So 
you'll also see here that the um, Slack not a not an uh, not a proof of concept uh, member John M two um, is in there, and that's because um, I don't know why it's M two to be honest, but John M two is there for some reason. Oh, uh, because it's got to be unique to the IRC network. So again, if I say hello from IRC and hello from Matrix, you will see all of these in Matrix, in Slack rather. So you see the IRC name and you see the Matrix name there. Excellent. So we've got Matrix, IRC, Slack, they're all working together fantastically. Lastly, let's do Telegram. Now again, Telegram's a little bit different because Telegram uses bots for everything. They don't, use, they don't have integration into your groups or channels or anything like that. So we're gonna to need to do things a little bit differently. I'm gonna start a new group with, in Telegram with the, um, the T2 bot. Now, T2 is a service run by a community member who bridges Telegram to Matrix. Um, so, but if you've already got an existing group or super group or chat, you can just invite the bot into that group. So I'm going to create a new group and I'm going to create that with T2 bot, uh, which is No, that's wrong. I need the um, alias bot. T2 alias bot, maybe? Maybe it's that one. Uh, anyway, not a proof of. Uh, so I need to say alias. Now this says that the matrix alias for this chat is telegram blah 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 blah. So what we now need to do is invite the alias bot into here. So we're going to invite to this room T, uh, the alias bot at T2I. That's why I got confused. So yeah, at alias colon T2bot.io. So I'm going to invite it in. Alias bot has joined the room and I now need to send to our alias this channel reference. So I send the command alias and that number. And that then says the room alias has been added. So here, if I now say hello from Telegram, we see in here, hello from Telegram, then I can say hello from Matrix. Hello from IRC. So we now have integration between our Slack channel, our IRC channel, our Matrix channel, and our Telegram channel. So there are a few small limitations. Um, the formatting of messages across the Telegram bridge is a bit odd. Let's have a look at that. So these are all coming from the Matrix Telegram bridge. They're not coming from our individual username. So, for example, when I send messages, hello, you'll see that my name is prefixed by my name and it has my avatar there. The Telegram bridge is prefixed by a matrix Telegram bridge and it's got that avatar there. However, they do then prefix all of the messages from your users. So when I say hello, 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 you see hello, hello, hello. Um, so it's not a disaster. On Slack, if I say 
hello slack bot or have you seen John the nice guy lately um, it translates the names there um, sometimes you'll see that represented as eight characters of alphanumeric details um, that usually indicates that the bridge hasn't been set up right. But sometimes if the bridge is playing up, it'll do the same thing. So it'll say that the um, the Slack user would be UAT645HO8 instead of John. So in small rooms with Slack integration, it's all right. If you've got a lot of people, sometimes it can go a bit weird. Um, again, the usernames across each of the bridges don't always follow. So on IRC, you get an M for the names of the matrix and downstream users. Um, Telegram users get Telegram added after their name. Um, but again, it's all about bringing these different communities together. So if you've got four different chat systems with a quarter of your community on each of them, or forcing one of those people that has got an ethical or moral reason why they need to stay on that channel, on that me method, of method of communication, then maybe having matrix to bring them all together isn't such a bad thing. And I think I'd take it. So there we go. Matrix, Telegram, IRC, Slack, all working together, all working awesomely. Thank you very much.